Hey, it's Whitney from ecovegangal.com and welcome to episode number two of the Buy It or Make It series. I actually am going to change the name because of some fantastic suggestions I got from you from the first episode and a lot of people suggested that I call this buy or DIY. I love that. Thank you so much for that feedback. If you haven't checked out episode one yet, you can click right over here on a mobile device or your desktop, or I'll have the link down below in the description field for you. And that one featured three amazing products. I gave a review of them and then I told you how you can make them at home. I'm going to do the exact same thing here today. I have three more vegan food products that I'm really enjoying but tend to be a little pricey. The concept of this series is to cover the range of people's preferences. Some people really like to buy products at a store, package products that are already made for them, and they don't mind the extra costs, the environmental downsides of it, or even the processed food side of it. Now, then there are a ton of people who prefer to make things themselves because they can control the ingredients, they can cut back on the cost, they use less packaging, and it's overall less processed. I'm one of those people who falls in the middle. Sometimes I love packaged products, sometimes I prefer to make it at home. I switch it up a lot, so you could also fall into that category too. Wherever you are, I have something for you here. So let's jump into the first product for this episode. I recently discovered this product from Coconut Secrets. These are Coconut Aminos garlic sauce. I've been using Coconut Aminos for a while. They are a fantastic alternative to soy sauce and they're just made from coconut. They're actually organic and raw, but the one downside of this brand is that they tend to be pricey. The other night I was feeling lazy. I didn't want to make my own sauce, so I went and got this. This costs $9.49 at a local market in Los Angeles. I paid it, it was fine, but then I read the ingredient list and I realized I probably could have whipped this up at home. So let me show you what ingredients you could use to just blend together to make this yourself. You can take some fresh ginger, fresh garlic, some cayenne pepper, which you can find in bulk, some salt, which you can find in bulk, or you can get a massive jar like this. This jar has lasted me two years. And then a sweetener. I don't have any coconut sap on hand. I actually think that Coconut Secrets makes a coconut sap you could buy. I do have some brown rice syrup, which would probably work well consistency-wise and flavor-wise, but you could probably use just about any type of sweetener of preference. Just make sure that you go for the unrefined type. So then you're just gonna blend all of these ingredients together till it gets to the right flavor and consistency you want. And that's about it. Now product number two is a recent obsession of mine. I went to the Natural Products Expo and if you've seen any of the recent videos from 2015, you heard me talk about this. Super Rebel Herbs makes these three drinks I'm so into. They're these chocolate drinks that are infused with superfoods and after the expo, I started buying this like crazy because it just has this fantastic chocolate milk flavor. It costs over $4. I think it was $4.19 and I almost feel like that was the sale price. So it's definitely pricey. I looked at the ingredients and realized I had everything at home. It has organic coconut milk, organic coconut sugar, organic cocoa powder, organic reishi extract, which is the main superfood in this specific blend, organic sunflower lecithin, organic vanilla extract, pink Himalayan salt, and organic stevia. I ended up making my own version of this last night and it turned out fantastic. Let me show you how I did it. I took 12 ounces of coconut milk. You can use any brand, but I'm a huge fan of So Delicious. I love their unsweetened uh, refrigerated coconut milk. They also make a shelf stable one. I use this all the time for my cereals and my different drinks. Then I blended in some organic cacao powder. Now they use cocoa powder, which is typically less expensive. I personally love the richness of cacao powder and a bag costs about $10 and lasts a really long time. I would say about five teaspoons worked well. I didn't actually measure when I made my recipe. I rarely measure. I just like to play around until I get the flavor right and I encourage you to do the same thing. Then I added in some reishi mushroom powder. I've had this for a while now, so I forget how much it costs. I'll put it on the screen right over here. Uh, this is something I don't use very frequently and 
And honestly, I don't think you really need to add this to the recipe unless you want the benefits of reishi mushroom. Reishi mushrooms can help boost your immune system, enhance your mood, and they have, it has a variety of different health benefits. You don't have to use this unless you happen to have it in your cupboard like I do. It doesn't really add much to the flavor of this drink. Then I added in some of the sea salt, a few drops of organic stevia, vanilla flavor. My favorite brand is Omica, and I'll link to all these brands I mentioned today in the description field down below so you can check them out too. And I didn't have any coconut sugar around so I actually used two soaked dates. I love having some dates soaking in my fridge in case I wanna whip up a drink like this. I blended that all together. It was super delicious and it tasted almost exactly like the Rebel Herb. So I'm gonna make that more often than I do buy the drink. The third and final product is Nutiva's O Coconuts. These are little coconut macarons. I actually featured them in a video around Valentine's Day this past year. I'll link to that down below too. And I fell in love with these because I was looking for a super simple sweet treat that was affordable. These cost about 75 to 80 cents each, which is honestly a little pricey once you see the ingredients. But if you're looking for something under a dollar, it's a really great choice. The ingredient list is kind of of a medium length. It's all organic. There's tapioca syrup, coconut, coconut flour, hemp seeds, chia seeds, monk fruit, sunflower, lecithin again, coconut flavor, and sea salt. So I wouldn't say that you need to use all of those ingredients. And again, I had most of those in my cupboard. These are just such staple ingredients. I love this. You can get some coconut flakes in bulk. I always have these around because they're great for dessert toppings. You can blend this into smoothies. You can put this on top of fruit. You can also find chia seeds in bulk. I mention these a lot. Chia seeds have so much protein, omega-3 fatty acids in them. They really can help boost up the thickness of drinks and desserts. Just like chia seeds, hemp seeds can be found in bulk or bought in a box. This one is from Ogeo and I find they last a long time. I actually love using hemp seeds to make my own milk, but we'll talk about that another time. So you could just blend the coconut, the chia seeds, and the hemp seeds together. Some salt. You could use the brown rice syrup again, or if you have coconut sap or any sort of uh, liquidy, unrefined sweetener just to kind of hold everything together. And some stevia. Mix it all into a bowl and just mush it until it forms those round macaroon shapes. And that's it. So all of those products are really easy to make, but it's really up to you. Do you have these ingredients on hand? Do you want to invest in them? Do you want to take the time to experiment to get the flavors right, the texture right? I mean, it's a personal preference, but I wanted to give you the option, and that's why the stereo is called Buy or DIY. Now I want to hear from you in a comment. Have you tried to make anything like this similar or exactly like what I talked about today? If so, please leave a recipe down below so we can all try it out. I, I promise one of these days I'll do actual recipes for this video series, but right now just kind of getting into the flow, testing the waters with you, so be sure to give me your feedback. Is there anything else you'd like to see, something I'm not covering? It's all for you, so make sure to let me know. If you did enjoy this video, if you found it educational, inspiring, entertaining, give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. And if this is your first time watching the Eco Vegan Gal channel, or for whatever reason you've never subscribed before, be sure to do it so you don't miss any of the videos. This series will be happening here every Monday. I have a new series happening on Wednesdays. I often do Q&As live on Saturdays, and I have so much for you that'll just happen other days of the week. And if you want even more content, if you click the description field down below, I have links to my other channels. I actually do daily video vlogs on my channel called What a Vegan Eats. I have business tips, usually on Tuesdays, on my EVG Venture channel. And I have some really personal, thoughtful videos that happen on Sunday on the Eco Vegan Gal Uncensored channel. So there's so much for you. You can check out ecovegangal.com for more information about healthy, happy living. And lastly, I would love to see you on social media. I'm super active on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Find the links down below, connect with me, say hello, let's stay in touch. And I will see you next Monday for another video or with something else upcoming on this channel. See you then.